From the outskirts of Austin, Texas, in an unknown disclosed haunted location, also the 13th titty is forbidden. It's gonna be a great night. Now please welcome your host, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. A now disclosed location. Wait, 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 what you got there, buddy? Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, this is a Robert, Robert Earl Keen golden ale uh, can no. wrapped in McConaughey's. I mean, it looks like a McConaughey's, which I assume is after uh, Matthew McConaughey, uh, local Austin legend. Austin legend, that, they, yeah. that, that everybody is expecting to become mayor and or governor, governor and or yeah, God. I believe he's running for God. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he's yeah. running for God. And he's like, he's yeah. like, what's that old dude? Man, I don't got no beard. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they ever have an election for God? <laughs> you ever think of that? So, so during the pre-show, I mentioned the fact that those cans were yeah. definitely from a lesser known celebrity <laughs> brew. Which that I, I, I actually got my, I got my first lesson in uh, Texas celebrity when I was like, uh, Robert Earl Keen, <laughs> yes, and no, everybody no. else, they're like their faces lit up, and they were like Lucille Bluth, like ah, Robert Earl Keen. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Great Night. Thank you so much to Brett Weaver, the internet's own favorite anime superstar. Sure. Uh, I, <laughs> he is the he voice is, yeah. of a great night, exactly. as always. Yeah, no, we have a voice now. Uh, yes. We've got a lot of surprises. We, yeah. We've got a lot of fun things happening. Ten years happening. of pantomime. We finally have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> We got out of the box. You found we it. are. Yeah, we're here. We we we're 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 finally doing it. Uh, geez, I'm. Uh, it, it's. I'm kind of like how, like, how much like, inside baseball do you want to give them? Let's go right now. Okay, All okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, for anybody just now joining us for the very first time, this is something very special. Uh, Twelve years ago, Justin and I started going live on Tuesday nights because it was safer to drink on the internet than to actually drink and then try to drive home. Uh, and that evolved into uh, one, two, three comedy podcasts, <laughs> multiple number one albums, and now we're starting all over again because for the very first time, Justin is live right here in Austin, Texas. So we figured, fuck it. Uh, we're going to set up our own holodeck and we're going to be live as though we're at Dragon Con, as though we're on tour all the time in the hopes that eventually we could just always be on tour and live all the time. Uh, it, it's it's a little bit in this moment overwhelming. You, like, I believe I, the bard honestly. said... My name is Robert Earl Keen, and nobody will ever <laughs> and stop nobody will ever my label beer. over my <laughs> golden ale. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, where do we want to get started? I know we have a bunch of different topics that we want to get through. Bryce, how does this work? I've got some topics here that we're going to talk about. Uh, so, if I can direct everybody over to the television for just a moment, uh, we're going to talk about. This cake breaks wood. So, I had a uh, housewarming party over the weekend. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I suddenly know what this is. <laughs> and I had a lot of people come over, and it was very, very, very uh, welcoming. I think they even mentioned in the pre-show that it was something that was, like, uh, uh, overwhelming to know that we had this community here in Austin. I... For those of you who were not there, which is the vast majority of everybody listening. <laughs> for those of listening, you who weren't there, for any of the remaining... You shut billion. up. You shut up. <laughs> this has all been an elaborate trap so I can fucking corner you. We have an outdoor area. On that outdoor area where we have furnished this entire house... We have two Adirondack chairs because I like Adirondack chairs. And not only do I like Adirondack chairs, but I like Adirondack chairs because Brian has Adirondack chairs. Right. Brian's got them all over this property. I'm glad you brought this up because I don't know if you have the same problem. But Bryce keeps like sitting <laughs> on the side. Funny you should mention that. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Because all of a sudden, I come out to my outdoor area, and one of the uh, armrests of my Adirondack chairs are broken. 
Bryce, do we have a picture that uh, we can show? Was Bryce at the party? <laughs> yes, we. Uh, just, yes, <laughs> it is broken. It is broken and, and on the was side. At this it is party. broken on the side. Okay, I'm just saying. So I show up and I'm like, oh my god, this Got brand new Adirondack chair. Mm. How did this get broken? Uh, at which point Bryce goes out of his way and says. It wasn't me, and I can prove to you that it wasn't. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, uh, uh, first of all, it was him. I mean, he fits the profile. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Will he Graham offered, now? Fuck off. Wait, 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 he offered, you, he, he has, offered he many, to me. He, has he offered to me proof. And his proof was he stood up, pointed to his ass, and said, This cake breaks wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to draw it everyone's does not attention. Jostle it. It, it does not remove it from its moorings. <laughs> it shatters it like he's Daniel LaRusso in the Karate Kid. His ass shatters that wood. Look at this it chair. It is a dainty It's ass like he perfectly unscrewed it. Remove it from. Am I, am I understanding this correct? That I am being accused of having a mushy cake. You are not only being heartily accused of having a mushy cake. Yes. You I, are also. Can I be recused? No, because you are also. Can I be infused? Immediately sold out by everybody because Brian not only broke my fucking chair, but he then went to everybody who watched him do it and in very Brian Brushwood fashion said, okay, 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 okay. Here's the story. <laughs> Everybody has a different story about how the chair got broke. So everybody, come on, and he's brainstorming with everybody, and everybody's got to come up with a new thing. He's making his own brainstorming uh, thing. You have, until right now, not in any way, <laughs> he's looking away from me for audio viewers, you, you have not a cop to the fact that you broke my fucking chair at the housewarming party. Admit it. Uh, uh, well, first of all, I, I do admit it, and I admitted it that night because there was a brief moment where I started to uh, try to tell you that it was Bryce, and then you said, Brian, I know you broke my fucking chair. <laughs> <laughs> So you know damn well that I broke your fucking chair with my fucking muffin top ass. <laughs> fucking muffins <laughs> over cakes for the win. Muffins <laughs> over cakes. Let's get muffins <laughs> over cakes trending. All right. What's our next topic? All right. Our next topic is. Uh, is. Uh, is. Is. It's. Oh. Wait. Yeah, uh, okay, all right. Uh, so, <laughs> I, this one might be better from your point of view, because uh, here's the thing. Everybody knows that uh, uh, we got a couple of different buildings here on the property, but there is, in my entire life, I'm talking about my home, I'm talking about uh, this uh, entire HQ, there is eight feet by eight feet that belongs to me. It's intentionally hostile to outsiders. It's, I, 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 I don't know, I've never repainted it. I just put soundproof insulation foam over everything. Uh, uh, I used to have boxes of cardboard uh, all over the place so that if anybody made the mistake of knocking on the shed, uh, they would open it up and then try to step in and realize there's not a yeah. chair for them. There's no way they if, can if, walk if, inside. If you want a visualization, imagine a, a toll booth. <laughs> but with, that's it. That's but, that's yeah. it. that's all I have. It, uh, he's got a little toll booth, and yes. he's got like a small table and his computer, and, yes. and that that's what's in there. And I have known in the few months that I have been here in Austin that even though I am I am among your inner circle, yes. If I see Brian's car and he's not in HQ, just give the man a text. That's like, like yes, like I, I, I know for a absolutely. fact he's in the shed. It's, it's the one I place don't want to knock on. It. It's the one place I can have a phone conversation. It's the one place that I can pitch ideas. It's the yeah. one place that that, that 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 truly is my own. As a matter of fact, I was so proud that uh, uh, we had a guest, and Jason Murphy uh, took the guest aside and just said, uh, just out of nowhere, apropos of nothing, Brian's in there. You don't ever go over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes. And then, uh, uh, I, I, so, so at any rate, um, uh, I also am aware that I, I, I don't want pests. So it, it's just nothing but half empty Diet Cokes all over the place. Yeah. And it's Diet Cokes because uh, if, if anything has calories, the bugs are going to find it or whatever. Which, by the way, I, I did not know, but we, we will get to that point of the story very soon. Yeah, because I believe it was two days ago. 
we were on the phone and I was sitting down. And now keep in mind, this is a slate gray set of sound insulating foam all around. It is a slate blue carpet. It is a slate uh, gray table and 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 a, a black keyboard and and mouse. And so uh, we're on the phone. We're talking. Well, no, no, and we are talking about a uh, the launch of the fourth episode of. World's, World's Greatest, Greatest Con. Con. Greatest Con podcast debuted at number three over Hardcore History, the greatest to ever do it. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe. But, like, we're going over some for real shit yep. where it's like, okay, so we're going to send out this email this day. Like, we're, we're, like, behind the scenes trying to, like, plan out our next 24 hours. And Brian's like, yeah, you know, I don't know. I just think I'm going to write this email. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shit, there's ants. Ants. Fuck! Okay, fuck! There's ants! There's some fucking... There's some fucking ants in here! Ants! Where the fuck are these? They're on my hand! They're on my hand! They're on my... They're crawling up my hand! They're biting me! They're biting me! These now, ants! These understand, ants! Understand, these ants! Understand, 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 everything is dark enough that I can't even see the fucking ants, and then finally, I lift, and, and, and it's like you see a little bit of motion here or there, and then you start to get stung, and then and then you lift up the keyboard, and it's and it's like... The fucking scattering of the stars. It's they're, they're oh everywhere, my God. all over the place. And I'm like, the fuck is happening? And it's like, I look, I look, I look to my left. And I'm like, diet, 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 diet. And then I look and I see the fucking dog treats. And like an idiot jackass, I grab the dog treats and I lift up the dog treats like I'm a fucking crime scene investigator. Like, 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 like you're gonna bring, like you're gonna call the cops and be like, cops, we've got the evidence. They're here for the dog treat. That's right. Guess what happens when I grab a fist around the dog treats and hold it up in front of my face? Ants! Ants happen! <laughs> all of my fucking arm! Uh, but that's actually, I realized later, I was like, I want to tell you about the ants, but yeah, the dog treats are the real star of the show. Really? Yes. So I've not heard this. So I, 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 I heard you screaming ants over and over again on the phone. The reason the dog treats were in the shed is because... I've made a habit of taking our dog, our Weimar on our joy on a walk every morning because yeah. to get the energy out or whatever. Uh, I've not been able to do that. I, I keep the treats there so that, you know, I could uh, keep control of her and that kind of thing. I've not been able to do it for almost a week and a half. Do you know why? Why? Because for the first time, our puppy joy is becoming a lady. Mm -hmm. So our Weimar on her is in heat. Gotcha. Which means there's, uh, number one, it means <laughs> we, have, we have a visit to the vet coming up. Sure. Number two, it means that she's not very cooperative. Number three, uh, <laughs> it means that I can't take her on an unsupervised walk here because I can't trust her to come back when I call her, right? Gotcha. So, uh, so I've been taking her on walks with Bonnie. So we go out, and, and, and there's like a two-mile circuit around uh, the neighborhood. And uh, one of the things that she's getting better about is not freaking out about other people, but she loves other dogs. Like, that's, yeah. that's something that's very healthy and good. But in this case, we're walking along, and there's like two little boxer terriers. And, uh, and she's just like, she's doing, uh, there are different types of barks. This is the bark that says, you're awesome. We should be friends, right? Yeah. Like, like, hey, hey, hold on, hey, baby, uh, hey, baby, excited bark, happy bark, that kind of thing, right? Yeah. So uh, we're not worried about trouble, but, but, but man, she's distracted by that. And so as we're walking along, I, I start muttering to Bonnie, like just out of earshot of, of the, the, the old lady taking the two boxer terriers. She's uh, I'm like, man, that dog is fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know what she's saying right now? The dog is like, oh, fuck. I want to fuck both them dogs. <laughs> and she's like, oh, damn. You know what? I want to do it human style. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to get nasty. You know what I want to do? I want to I say, I love you. <laughs> like a human would. <laughs> That's how fucking dirty I want to do it. Mm, mm. So I have a horny dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, what's the next topic? <laughs> All right, our next. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put a fucking ring on my paw. Our next topic is. 
Swiss people. Now, okay. Yeah. They make watches. Yep. They're neutral. Yep. That's it. <laughs> they also get very excited about soccer. So this is from a big soccer tournament that is happening, uh, the Euros, as they call them. But I want you to watch here in, in, in the monitor. Okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, going viral now on, on Reddit. It has become its own Reddit meme. Okay. Uh, like, I, I, when, uh, when, for audio listeners, it looks like uh, somebody forgot their mask and needs to go into a gas station and has pulled up their, <laughs> their, their sweater around their, their face. Uh, he has now pulled it down. He's he pulled it now, down. This is existential death. This right? is dread. This is he's very disappointed. He just found out that there are no more Kit Kat bars. So this is th this is what happens when Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! That escalated about as fast as the last time I pulled off my shirt in a public <laughs> setting. I was gonna say, Bryce, if we can go back to the beginning, this is what happens when we leave right. night attack. And this is what happens when Great Night turns out. <laughs> okay. But this has so, become a so, massive, a massive <laughs> meme of of the like this then like like when things are going bad, when things are going good. Uh, uh oh man, I, I'm sure everybody uh send send in examples of this to uh what uh, do we have a Twitter? A great 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 night at Great Night Live at Great Night Live Great Night Live yeah. yeah. And by the way, uh, uh Twitch dot Great night dot dot TV, TV is yeah. where you can see us live it. every single Tuesday. We remembered it. We did. Uh, what else we got, Bryce? Why are we doing this? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, when we say this... The, everyone's going to think, like, why are we doing Great Night? We've already explained. We're in the same city. We're relaunching the brand. Well, We're going to do it in different heard. energy. Uh, a lot of people might not have heard. Because a lot of people might not have listened to, to the Ghost Attack podcast, which, by the way, happened every single week like clockwork. Uh, but uh, people watch us live. We are a live act. We've always been a live act. From Uvu and Stickham. <laughs> Please, let's get a close-up. Let's see if we can get a close-up. You got to cheat. You got to cheat a little bit. <laughs> he's doing... Oh, he's doing the uh, first part the of the Swiss video. He's man, got the... the Swiss man. He's doing the Swiss man right now. Okay. <laughs> On Uvu and Stick uh, and stick -amp. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, we go to Twit and... Oh. And then we leave Twit, and we're on our own. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then finally, we uh, are in the same city. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> 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 Way to not violate the OS. That was actually good. Good on you. Uh, why are we, all right? So it's, I think the biggest question that people would have, <laughs> yes, is like, yes, it's cool. We have this set. Yes, it's cool. We're gonna continue to do cool stuff, but. Why didn't we just keep doing the live show throughout the last three months? And the answer is because we're so insane as to release four chapters of a complete audiobook that we've been working on in secret for for eight months at the exact same time that you decided to move to Austin. Yeah. At the exact same time that we prepared to start relaunching the brand as a night attack. I think that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's it, pretty much it. That's mostly it. I mean, and, and also it's like, I think we you wanted want, you, to make You want this... to take off your jacket? Sure. Okay. It's just, I feel like this is like exploitative. This is like, like one of those like Calvin Klein commercials. Would you, slow down. Would you be Slower. more comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of went nowhere. <laughs> because I just realized it'll be a violation of terms of yeah. service to go oh, any further. Oh, oh, to show my nip? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, which are, you're already showing your which eyeballs. Are, which are the eyeballs? Of the chest. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say your eyeballs are the titties uh, of the face. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I mean I think that this is, uh, uh, and if you are not, if you're only watching the, or listening to this via podcast, then I would very much encourage you to check out both our YouTube and our Twitch because I do think this is special and awesome. But the reason why we delayed is because we wanted to make it right for everybody. We wanted to make this everything that uh, it could be while we're in the same area. Uh, there was definitely a significant amount of like holding on to a secret because I, I guess uh, Brett, you had heard early versions of of the the world's greatest con, right? Yes. So uh, uh, you knowing what that's like and knowing that we were keeping everything, even its existence and the work we were doing on it, secret. It was 
it was painful to not tell the audience enough, but then on top of that, to have the audience say, why aren't you doing the other thing? <laughs> and to just vaguely say, <laughs> just keep watching this space. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen, I promise. It was hard, but uh, but uh, uh, the the fourth chapter, the final chapter is out. Just came out. Com podcast .com, all Spent four, uh, uh, two seven, and a half yeah. weeks, uh, pretty much since launch, uh, if, if if we may. Uh, uh, number one trending podcast on Pocket Casts, uh, four point nine out of five stars. Screw you, people who love TikTok. Uh, <laughs> Brian is very hung up on one one star review of a guy who compared us to TikTok videos, which shows that we're getting random people. If, if that guy's like, I'm listening to an Apple podcast and he's like, this isn't TikTok. I don't know how random it is. His initials were A.H. I think it was oh. Andrew Heaton. <laughs> Deep cut. Bryce, we have one another person. That was my bit, by the way. You stole that joke from me, first off. <laughs> All right, our next topic is ICS. Ooh, I don't know much about this. I guess I guess there was some. There's a bit of an earthquake news bomb. We have a a, a sister show, as as they say, you know, a show that we have a, a tremendous kinship with that we've guested on each other's shows a million times. Uh, ice cream show, show uh, social. Oh. <laughs> ice cream, the ice, ice cream, cream show. Ice cream social. <laughs> ice you heard cream of it? Show. Have you heard of it? Ice yeah. cream oh, social. Look at this one. It's mint chocolate chip. Uh, uh, ice cream social out in Las Vegas. And one of the three are uh, moving out to Pittsburgh from Las Vegas to Pittsburgh. So, so I did. Paul hear Mattingly is, is leaving Las Vegas. He is going to Pittsburgh. And so that'll leave two of the three, Matt and Jacob, there in Las Vegas. So. I did see, I guess the way I found out the, the whole story was from your tweet where you were saying, hey, everyone freaking out, may I remind you that for 12 years, Brian and I yep. have existed only over remote connections. And uh, and immediately I responded with like, tell them the glory of the Opal, yeah. full oh, duplex oh, communication. Dude, I'll tell you what, I, I spent a half hour on the phone with Matt Donnelly selling that machine like I was on commission. Yeah. Like I, I was I was just like, hey, brother, like, what do I have to do right now to get you to buy an Opal? And he's like, I'm literally in a bubble for fool us. Please stop bothering me. And I'm like, <laughs> but for real, improv comedy. You love it, right? Uh so I just wanted to say to everybody, uh, same thing I said on Twitter, and I will look uh, dead here into our camera. Look that dead. Indeed, nothing on Ice Cream Social will change. Paul Mattingly will be on Opal. They will be able to do the same kind of improv comedy that they have done this entire time. Also, live. In-person comedy belongs right here <laughs> on twitch.greatnight.tv. I can touch Brian what? in the face. Oh. I'll touch him in the face all day. <laughs> kisses, kisses. I'm so horny. Sweet <laughs> Jesus. Put a ring on it. We get it now. I'll do it. We Human do style. it now. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the internet, fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> What's the next topic, Brian? That, that, that escalated quickly. I think we're out of topics. I think we have to actually play we're, our game. We're, we're out of topics. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're out of topics. But uh, uh, thank you, everybody, for for topics. Uh, hey, let's go ahead and shout out our Patreon. Patreon.com yeah. slash great night. Oh my gosh, wait, have we have we swapped it over? We have, we have. Yeah. Uh uh, so here's the deal. We actually did change the structure of our Patreon. We changed a couple things actually about the show in general. Uh, and that was number one, previously on the Patreon, the thing that we had sold was uh early access to the pre-show and post show. Right. What we've and realized everything all being in one feed as well. Exactly. Yeah. What what we've realized is uh that isn't quite what uh, uh Patreon responds to. It's not what you what guys want. What we realized is you deserve more. That's right, more. So much more of the things you deserve. Now all of a sudden that's all free. What? That's right, I use the F word. Free. Indeed. Uh, uh on, on, on our podcast feed, uh uh three hours. The next day, by the way. Uh, will be live. Our pre-show, our, our 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 main show, and our post-show will all be uh, uh, available to you guys on that main feed. And uh, you will, if you are a, a Patreon subscriber, and and it's only two dollars now. We we have two tiers. 
We might add new ones as, as we go along, but right now Three we've got tiers if you count get fucked. Yes. Yeah. And and if you are not subscribing, you are currently getting fucked. <laughs> you're you're on one of them. <laughs> Ever the universe. The Pope is on one of them. <laughs> uh two dollars gets you in the club. That gets you a bonus show on Thursday, totally exclusive to Patreon. So if you like this, then get on it. Otherwise, there's one other tier, and you can't get on it right now because it is our horse boy tier. 50 bucks per uh, week, and, and we, we bless the horse boys. We did exclusive stuff for them uh, when I first moved into town, and we will continue to do so. But that's it. Our Patreon pitch is now dirt, dirt, dirt simple. You want a bonus episode on Thursday? Then get on. It's only two bucks a week. Uh, head on over there right now. Patreon.com slash great night. Uh, by the way, I just found out that my mom is in the chat and she is not on the get fucked tier. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> my mom hasn't called me back. Should I call no? her again? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who missed the pre show, uh, we did a well, nobody whole missed the hour in the call green room. Gloria Young. Uh, and and uh, uh, get ready for a replay of exactly what we have. Well, she earlier. put she sent me the voicemail, so we'll see whether or not she picks up. This is a little earlier than a caller normally. I don't think I've ever Too gotten early? sent a voicemail. Yeah, like what? She just Hello? woke up. Hi, mom. You're live on the internet. Oh. How <laughs> She hates that. Uh, I wanted I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, are you subscribed to my Patreon? <laughs> yes, I am. Hey! Uh, well, no, you're, you're subscribed to the politics one, right? Oh, I'm subscribed to that and, and your um, what used to be Night Attack. And what is it called now? Do you know? Uh, is it now The Great Night? What? Yes! He said the magic word. Uh, 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 Mom, you are you are amazing. Now hold on, wait. We had we had one more thing. Uh, a friend okay. of ours has just completed work on a big Orlando campaign. You you live in Orlando, uh, uh, Brett? Can you yeah. please uh, tell me what the the what 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 you say in your campaign? Uh, uh, American Aaron Heat. Uh, yeah. So he he plays a poetic cowboy that says. American, Aaron Heat. Have you ever heard that uh, campaign? No, I have not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the payoff I was expecting. <laughs> Bryce, do you got a game for us? Ashley, can you please apologize to my mom for me? <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Uh, uh, we've got a game for you today. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hard to follow up, Gloria. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hey, look at that. Uh, it's time for one of our classic games. You know it, you love it. Say it with me. Uh, apologize, boys. <laughs> Bryce, if I'm not mistaken, this is the game where we troll the internet for news stories that involve the phrase apologizes for. That's right. Uh, for the past uh, couple of days or so, we've had people in the Discord, uh, discord.greatnight.tv, uh, sending in stories where people have apologized for major and sometimes minor flubs. Uh, so I'm going to give you a headline where one or multiple words have been blanked out. Both of you are going to give me an answer for what you believe is the closest to the real blanks in that headline. Whoever's closest, as determined by science, will get the point. Are you excited for it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, do yeah, I get yeah. bonus we, 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 points for saying Justin Robert Young apologizes for hanging up on his mother live on the Internet? <laughs> uh no, you don't. No, no, <laughs> no, no points. Okay. Uh, also, and and Bryce, uh, this is something that we're actually going to uh, 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 throw throw a curveball your way. Mm. But uh, oh, I think I know the cur I actually think I know the curveball. Do you know the curveball? Okay, good. Possibly. So uh, there are going to be some stakes to this oh, game. This is it, something that we, we are uh, uh, going to add to this show, which is that we are are during our games. All right, here. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, taking over my mic for a couple of seconds, Corey's going to introduce our special uh, guest. Well, no, I have, I have, I have, oh, I have, oh, I have you, all you the have info. info? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have uh, some amazing guests who are going to be doing some awesome uh, collabs here stuff. with yep. Modern Rogue. Uh, Walcom S7. There we go. Uh, they are a mod channel for Nerf and, and Air Guns. So the loser of this game is going to do an old 
a, a, a firing squad <laughs> with this gigantic, look at this massive <laughs> nerf. It's a Gatling gun. <laughs> It does. It has nuts, too. <laughs> it's got a pair of balls. Way to cradle it. Yeah. <laughs> so the loser of apologizes for uh, will get the, 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 the French Foreign Legion firing squad treatment. We call it Sorry Bukaki. <laughs> Do we? Do we need to? Can we, can we workshop that a little bit? <laughs> Maybe not. All right. So I'm going to give you a headline. <laughs> That's, you know that you have someone you can live with forever when you never have to say sorry for a bukkake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. That's true love. <laughs> oh. Our loser at the end. Loser, loser at, at the end. end. Loser, loser at, at the end. end. No, we're going to build up. Stakes, yeah. No, no, you can't just minigun somebody <laughs> after every. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm going to give you your first headline and apologizes for. All Wait, right. Somebody's saying that that is currently illegal on the West Coast. Is that true? What? Sorry, Bukaki. No, no, no. The the minigun that <laughs> Walcom S7. I was about to say that's a hell of a game. <laughs> You're like, but is hey, it true? Is that for real? Sorry, Bukaki. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> Have you, have you ever seen? It's Ka illegal to say sorry for a Bukaki. No. <laughs> have you ever seen? Have you ever seen carrot Bukaki? It's. <laughs> That's where people take carrots and they take the scrapers and they it's one oh, person deals no. down and they just shave off and the carrots fall all over the place. I mean, I'm told. Where'd you see this? Uh, on Colleen the internet. Me. <laughs> Colleen. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, your first headline in apologizes for. Yeah. Canadian lawmaker apologizes for blank, blank, blank of colleague. Canadian lawmaker apologizes for blank, blank, blank of colleague. This is from the New York Times and our friend BioCow. Um, uh, we'll start with uh, Brian. Um, blank, blank, blank of colleague. Yes. Uh, uh, and we do have some more information if you'd like some. Yes, yeah. I would. Uh, uh, was the co uh, Yes. Okay. More information, please. Uh, quote, I personally apologize to him, but I also wanted to do so publicly to him personally, to his family, to his colleagues, and anyone I may have offended. I'd like to say to conclude that I have no idea how that photo made its way into the media. <laughs> okay, uh, for blank, blank, blanking a colleague? Canadian lawmaker apologizes for blank, blank, blank of colleague. Uh, accidental... Photo release. Accidental photo release, he says. Finally, yeah, answer. I, I'm, I'm going to actually take the, the position that it is posting party picture. So she very deliberately posted a thing. And so it wasn't a leak, Ooh. but 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 she thought this was cool, and it was definitely not cool. So is it, okay, okay. So so this is not a this is an intentional bukkake, not a sorry bukkake. Yes, this okay. is all right. This is a very on purpose bukkake. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's okay. This is, we, are there verbal TOS violations that maybe we could? Okay. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> So this is from the New York Times. Uh, the answer we were looking for. Canadian lawmaker apologizes for... Uh, bum, bum, bum. Taking a nude photo of colleague. We're going to give that to Justin. Because yes! it was a yes! no, On wait purpose, a minute. Wait, baby. Wait, 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 wait. Like, like was, was, was the colleague not aware? Or not uh, a participant? You know what? I'm at, I've actually run out of my limit of free articles today, so I, <laughs> I actually can't. <laughs> what a Patreon.com slash great night to get pricey a uh, Give me a New York Times and NYT subscription. subscription. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's a point for Justin. Uh, let's take it to round two. I've apologized for. Dude, you're going to get like so many nope. nerf I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to get mini I'm gonna, gun I'm to gonna, shit. I'm going to be able to see for miles from all the fucking vitamin A from all the <laughs> carrots. <laughs> all right. Headline. Oh. Did you just admit where you are in the bukkake and it wasn't with a shaver in your He's hand? The receiver. <laughs> <laughs> I've played this game before. I know how this goes. <laughs> This which game specific? Okay. <laughs> Headline. 
Injustice Mobile, uh, excuse me, Injustice Mobile Team apologizes for Pride promo where you blank, 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 blank. Uh, Injustice Mobile is a mobile fighting game. <laughs> Injustice Mobile Team apologizes for Pride promo where you blank, 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 blank. Never mind. This one could be anything <laughs> because after spending uh, uh, eight years in the Bay Area, like you realize that there is nothing like Pride to make to relax all standards for any corporate partner right like 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 citibank will have some like very ribald kind of like catchphrase for for for, for pride right? right so so bryce what how many blanks are we looking at again uh injustice mobile team apologizes for pride promo where you blank 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 for blanks blank Blank, 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 four blanks. So there were five oh, no, total. No, 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 no. Sorry. Just, just there, four. He was clarifying. <laughs> four. You. Okay. There are yeah, four yeah. blanks. Four blanks. Okay. There are oh, I thought, four I thought you, were, you were blank, 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 blanking for another uh, blank. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to start with Justin on this one. Uh, Justin. Where you are... Uh, uh, <laughs> blank, 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 blank. blank. Apologize for Pride promo where you blank, blank, blank. blank. Uh, people... Uh, <laughs> same gender. <laughs> okay, that's that's something that people would be very ashamed of during Pride Month. So. Well, I don't know. I mean, and they I love that in the fighting the way game. They do it. No, I, that, I'm going to do it. Quarter month. circle back kiss. This, Even, this, this, I mean, Pride means uh, it's the one month that 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 all people <laughs> think, whoa, no kissing. Well, look, this is the like the apologizes for a version of the one dollar bid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, kissing people same gender. Brian, injustice mobile team apologizes for pride promo. Were you blank, 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 blank? Uh, question: When you say injustice mobile, injustice is mobile is the name of the game. Oh, I the and game. M. The name it's injustice mobile is a fighting game on your yeah. phone. It's a fighting game. It's a fighting yeah. game with like the DC characters. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, Injustice Mobile Team apologize uh, for Pride Promo. I would like to blank, use blank, blank. my phone a friend, uh, Brett. Oh. Uh, Brett? Yes. All right. What do, uh, Wait, you can do that? We, we I didn't know. really. Yeah. Uh, damn, yes. Stop me. It's God, Pride Month. It. You can't stop me. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> do anything. Actually, can we stop month. you? What? No, just one second. <laughs> Wait, that... what? Are you going to stop me? Yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, no, no. no. I'm, I'm going to a ruling. I'm going to a Pride Month ruling to Bryce. Bryce, is he allowed to do this? Based on what the content of the next message will be, no. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I don't get to ask. Okay. Um, well, talking as a straight <laughs> okay. white guy. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh, uh, Brett, no. He, I mean, <laughs> what? Well, uh, mm. No, I'm sure you <laughs> want to ask about injustice, injustice. not pride. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a mobile company called Injustice, and they, they have a game, game uh -huh. and they were criticized for something during Pride Month. Uh, it's a combat game, so I'm going to say... Um, uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, poking out face titties, which as we all know, <laughs> are eyeballs. Eyeballs are the titties of your face. That's true. Yeah. Okay. That's my go. Okay. So just, just, just one more time here. Justin's answer was kissing people, same gender. Yep. Ryan's answer was poking out face titties. Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Poking yes. out yes. face, face titties. titties. I see. I'm feeling confident about this. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I I just want eyeballs are the titties of the face in like the same live laugh love script. <laughs> uh, people wait, just wait, put wait, up put that on the kitchen. merch store. Yeah, are you kidding exactly. Me? <laughs> like in a fine script and a fine like yeah like like you know like the only ingredient in this kitchen is love. Like, but it's just eyeballs are the titties of the face. By the end of the week, it will be in my kitchen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we've got an answer here from Polygon, and our friend uh, Cheeto sent this one in. Injustice Mobile Team apologizes for Pride promo where you beat up Poison Ivy. Oh, yeah. You probably poke out her body parts. And so. Wait, hold on. Is she like too coded gay? For a pride promo, uh, this uh, sub lead says Poison Ivy is Wolf, one of Injustice's yeah. canonically queer characters. Yep. Oh, is she for real? Like, is she like in I, in in canon gay? Didn't you watch? That's my understanding. Play? No, I didn't. And and yes, Meryl Barr has my phone number. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I, 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 so, uh, I I made it. I survived. Let's skip to the part where science dictates who was closer. All right, I'm gonna plug this into my science machine here. Let me just. Beep, boop. 
So much better in person. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. All right, we've got an answer here. And let me just pull it out of my science machine. All right, thank you here. Uh, that's a Brian point poking yeah! out face titties. Okay, guys, Brian, that's one to oh, one. Shit. The score is tied. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, round three of apologizes for. I'm sorry. All right, round three here. State attorney apologizes for sending angry e email to councilman after he blank, 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 blank. One more time. State attorney apologizes for sending angry email to councilman after he blank, 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 blank. We'll start with Brian on this one. State attorney apologizes for sending angry email to councilman after he blank, 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 blank. Your four blanks. Called. <laughs> so bold. <laughs> Called. <laughs> Called. Called. Oh, toast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Called him. Uh, and what did he call him? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this cake breaks wood. <laughs> Brian is suggesting that state you attorney know, Carly like Ray that. Jepsen Henry is said, this cake breaks wood. All right, he's gonna say this cake breaks wood. All right, Justin. <laughs> you have no idea how aggressive Bryce was with that. By I the was way. so mad because Brian. Okay, Brian came up to me. Before I learned of this situation, he said, I just want to let you know that I believe that you did not break Justin's chair, but everyone else is saying it, and I'm fighting tooth and nail for you. <laughs> <laughs> State attorney apologizes for sending angry email to councilman after he blank, 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 blank. Justin. Uh, uh, parked in her spot. Mm, that's what they're calling it now. Parked in her spot. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Uh, any 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 thought behind that? Uh, I think this motherfucker parked in her spot. Then he got a real earful about it because that cake <laughs> breaks wood. <laughs> and it and it and it certainly does. All right, uh, just the answers again. Brian said this cake breaks wood. Oh, I've heard that. And, and by Ben Franklin in the chat, just with no tags, her spot is her puss. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Come Guys, on. we're trying to class up the show. No, he's over there. We're trying he's over to there class trying, up no, he's the trying show. To help. He's like, her spot is her pussy <laughs> and also her pubes. Season two. Season two for... Uh, uh, coming uh, in, coming in, in a week or two. Head. Yeah. All right. We've got our two answers here. Let's take a look at the headline from Newsweek and our friend Cheeto. State attorney apologizes for sending angry email to councilman after he woke him from his nap. <laughs> That sounds like his cake broke wood to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I I think I'm gonna need to send this into the science machine once go again. Ahead, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Please, please. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a quantum science machine. <laughs> Oh, we got it. Uh, sorry, I got it. Sounds like jazz. Science has added a few uh, has added a few more disciplines since uh, between Night Attack and Great Night. All right, bing bing ding ding ding. All right, I've got it. Ah, here we go. The point has been given to one Justin Robert Young. Oh, oh, rigged. What is the score for us now, Brent? Nobody knows. Nobody I knows. know. Justin has two. Brian has one. And that's Ooh. the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next for everybody. Party. Let's bring the minigun out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope,
<laughs> and he says, sorry. It's like a down payment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kept asking you where you wanted it. <laughs> All right. I said, put it on the eyeballs of my chest. <laughs> that was actually terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the record, I thought about diving in front. <laughs> I didn't, but I thought about well, it. Thank you. I, I thought about not crushing you at this game. Mm. Oh, big mm. talk. Where it happened. Mm. All right. Well, okay. let's see if we can hold up in round four. I have apologized for. Sorry, son. It's from our friend Dark Redeemer and AL.com University of North Alabama SGA president apologizes for saying LGBTQ people must blank, blank, blank. Price, fuck you. <laughs> oh, How are you doing month? a bunch of these Pride Month things? It's June. Maybe it's the end of June. <laughs> what do you think? What do you maybe, th maybe there's like this one is, this month is a price, year. This is Price's reparation. Price's reparation is torturing the straights on television. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Fuck. What, what? Yes. All right. University of North Alabama SGA president apologizes for saying LGBT people must. Blank, blank, blank. There are three blank blanks. There's We're starting. Nothing. There's nothing that's off limits at the North Alabama school that could possibly be said. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the University of North Alab Alabama. Alabama. Oh, oh, what, what, what city is that in? Oh my gosh! And it's just in Alabamaville, Al Florence, Alabama. Florence. Florence. Oh, oh city of light. Florence. City of light. And we all knew if that. It was it Huntsville. Is. I was gonna say go to space. Mm, that's I see. where space camp is. Yes. Hey, we should just LGBT we should just throw them off the earth. Brian Brushwood says, space? "Just Lawrence? God, Christ, Jesus, that's, that's just right. get him out of it. Just get him out of it. Just get him out of here." All right, we're gonna They're start pioneers. with. I'm Justin. from Huntsville, Alabama. Hey, get him out of here! Oh, oh, oh. I'm being straight over here. <laughs> Put him on a rocket. Ow! I came from Brooklyn straight to, to Huntsville. Hey, it's a natural migration. Ow! Please, please put us in the Sopranos prequel, please. All right. Uh, we're going to start with Justin on this one. University of North Alabama SGA president apologizes for saying LGBT people, LGBTQ people must blank, blank, blank. Get a tattoo. Can we get a close up on Justin crying at this at this? At this <laughs> Wait, does SGA mean like student, student guild? government association? Uh, Associate, yeah, student they, government association, yeah, yeah. right? All right, uh, so well, it's a young it, person. It may, it may be the straight gay alliance, but uh, I guess either way, it's a um, young crowd. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say be nicer people. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> the LGBT, LGBTQ yeah. people must be nicer people. They must be nicer people. Oh, yeah. okay. When that's that's something worth apologizing for. If you're yeah. like, you're too mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll take I'll take uh, uh, the under on this one. Be more aggressive. <laughs> oh shit! That's, that's this is a clear yeah for. a clear. Like, Y'all need to be kissing everybody without consent. Kiss everybody of the same gender. That's right. <laughs> we we've let them live in complacency for too long. <laughs> We're like they're all homophobes. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta convert them. Kiss it out of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's as far as we're gonna go with that. Bit. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. Until next. A time. boundary has been set. All right. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's see what it is from AL.com. University of North Alabama SGA president apologizes for saying LGBTQ people must be born again. Oh. oh. Who's more right? <laughs> what? I said be more aggressive. I know you did. He was saying be less aggressive. Be nicer people. I think I, I, yeah, I, I, wait, I, wait, I don't wait, even wait, need wait. science on this one. This is Hold be on. nicer Hold people. Hold on. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. Canonically, that's yeah. incorrect. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying from the SGA president's standpoint. I mean, what was I mean, he I saying? Mean, uh, hey, who here has had a baby sucking on their titty? Were they nice? Born in the new. Light of Jesus. Here we go. Yeah, that's a, just, that's a Justin the, point. This mini gun. This just, is an just, easy one. This is an easy one. That's Justin point. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Justin point. We don't even. We don't even need the science and on machine. Pride right. month. And in pride. Month. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a few more here. You want to do another? You hear that mini yeah. gun? You hear that minigun warming up? I, 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 I'm glad it's that <laughs> minigun. 
And not one mini guy. A real one? What do you? Th- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah. Oh. Can you hear that warming up? I, I'm glad I can't. Because <laughs> that would be really weird. <laughs> like, if I imagine we're in the middle of the show. Does it sound and like an unfolding say, mylar balloon? <laughs> like, like you say, can you hear that minigun warming up? And I look over and there's no reason. And I'm, But yet I can hear something. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I sort of like, like try to play it off. I kind of lean forward and back. But then I'm like, I'm pretty sure I hear his dick spinning up. What's going on? And you're like, but you double down you're like do you hear that minigun spinning up i'm pretty <laughs> i'm pretty sure i hear his dick spinning up was in my wife's wedding vows <laughs> hmm. no comment on that <laughs> all right uh we're gonna go into our double points round here uh for another round of apologizes for oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. This is from phillyvoice.com and another Jay Martin in the Discord who sent this in. Thank you. A taste of home festival organizers apologize for blank, 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 blank from event. Uh, I'll give it one. A, a taste, taste of, of home. home. A taste of home is, uh, I guess, a, a, the name of a festival. Yes, the, the and festival. The, gun. the festival organizer. Jesus. <laughs> okay, look. I mean, it's common knowledge. It's good. Go ahead. Common. Uh, the the festival organizers apologize for blank, 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 blank from event. Four blanks from event. From event. Uh, we will start with Brian on this one. Brian. Offensive. Okay, offensive. T-shirts. T-shirts, yeah. Yeah. T-shirts, yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay. That'll work. Bryce, can you please read back that headline with Brian's suggestion? A- absolutely. Here we go. This is from our friends over at phillyvoice.com. A taste of home festival organizers apologize for offensive T-shirts, yeah, from event. So. Here, let's stand by it. <laughs> okay, he stands by it. J-Man. <laughs> Say the headline again. Yeah. <laughs> a Taste of Home Festival organizers apologize <laughs> for blank, 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 blank from event. Brian is uh, just pickled over. Blank, 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 over. blank, blank, four blanks? Yes, four blanks. Um, we do have information on these two that you can ask for. Uh, 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 <laughs> hell yeah. Restrictive uh, critical race theory. <laughs> Wait, they, they apologize for just the abstract concept of critical race yeah, theory? Yeah, at okay. the Taste of Home Festival. <laughs> you know, you're trying to get some clam chowder, <laughs> yeah. and then you're learning about the destructive uh, uh, society for which we built for ourselves. Uh, got it, got it. And they're like, exactly. uh, and initially you go they're, up, they're that from was Maine, be... so they're all like, "Why, oh, hi, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> somebody from Maine talk." They're they're like, nice uh, they're does... like, oh, oh, "Good day, lobster," <laughs> and then he's like, "Never mind." Would you would you would you believe that Brian loves the work of Stephen King? <laughs> 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 all right, we've got the headline here: A Taste of Home Festival organizers apologize for. Uninviting Israeli food truck from event. (laughs) Man, I'd hate to be science right about now. (laughs) Wait, hold on. You think you have a shot with offensive t-shirt? Yeah? I'm saying if I was science, I'd rather be associated with that. What did you say? Uh, 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 Restrictive crit- critical, critical, race, critical theory. race theory. Oh yeah, I'd rather be me than you right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, let's go to science. All right. Well, I'm gonna plug it into my science machine machine, machine here. Shh. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> For the audio listeners, you need to appreciate that Bryce goes to the camera with a piece of paper oh. and waits until it actually just envelops the screen before he starts beeping and booping. Go. Boop. 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 It's like it stops being funny and then it gets funny again. (laughs) (laughs) It's like I want to take a drink, but I know the moment it hits my lips, the fucker's gonna. Almost got him. Ah, almost got him. Almost got him. Okay. 
Ouch! All right. Ah, science has given it the double circle for two points. Restrictive critical race theory! Yay! Yes! Now, now uh, Brett, we, we just gave out double points. What is, uh, what is our current standings well, in this race? Brian. Yes. Your score is one. Yes. Justin is five. That's right. Now we're going to take it to our final round. This is, of course, our six-point round. Yeah. It's anybody's game. Uh, and it, the game is called Apologizes For. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're getting waxed. Fine. It's fine. You didn't taste that mini gun. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a great moment for our first. You know what? I'm gonna give you a 10 second head start. I'm gonna I'm gonna chase you with that. That'll be the critical chase theory. That's what's gonna happen. Damn, a little chesty. (laughs) Yeah, critical critical chase theory (laughs) on the prize. (laughs) All right, Uh, here we go. Your headline is Nashville store apologizes for Star of David blank blank. Nashville store apologizes for Star of David blank. Blank. Uh, I will give you a hint. I've. Th- you could look at this as two or three blanks, depending on how you hyphenate things. Uh, Nashville store apologizes for Star of David. Blank. Blank. Who do we start with? We are going to start. Well, um, I mean, it's Brian's. Yeah, Brian's trailing, so he's going to begin this round. Brian. Yeah. <clears> for <throat> six points, the six-point game. They apologized. They apologized for it. They apologized for it. Yeah. yeah okay. And it had three, possibly four words, possibly hyphenated. It had two, possibly three words. Two, possibly three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Star of David, you say? So, uh, that, that's right. The, uh, the Star of David. How many points on that? Yeah. It's going to be six points. Mm-hmm. This could win you the game, actually. Uh, Chosen people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Unleavened bread, huh? Nashville store. 40 days and 40 nights, huh? <laughs> Split that red seat. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nashville yeah. store apologizes. Chosen to Moses. <laughs> Let my people go, huh? Got the little hat. Now I'm Obama. <laughs> now I'm Obama. Jewish culture knowing Obama yeah. has, has emerged Old on Great Night. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> One more time, the title. <laughs> Nashville store apologizes for Star of David blank blank, and we do have some info. Fake unlocks, right? Action figure, action action figure. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> action figure. All right, Star of David action figure. Justin, this this is in the news, but okay. the Nashville store apologizes for Star of David blank blank. That'd be a pretty <laughs> shitty action figure. Whoa! Wow. I have to apologize for wow. it. No, <laughs> wow, that was a good save, uh, actually. National Star apologizes for Star of David. Blank, blank. Um, oh, I would say, <laughs> what would you say? Toilet seat. No. Ooh. What? That's something they would apologize for. Well, Star yeah. of David toilet seat. Like, maybe they'd think, like, oh, I don't know, for a very religious household, they would want <laughs> Star David everything, and then they're like, well, not this. Uh, if I, could, <laughs> I could tell you next week's episode is Night Attack, or sorry. Uh, uh, oh! oh! <laughs> we got to bring back the belt Yeah, now. the belt. Yeah. Do we have the belt? We have the belt. We have the biggest belt buckle. There we go. <laughs> Where's the belt? There we go. He fucked up. He <laughs> done fucked up, man. Fucked up, son. <laughs> I'll use it as a shield. <laughs> he lo- <laughs> <laughs> Shoot for the brackets, boys. <laughs> Shoot for the brackets. I think his head is still pretty vulnerable there, but that's just me. All right. So our answers. Nashville store apologizes to our David uh, Brian said action figure. Justin said toilet seat. <clears throat> Uh, now I do have to, oh no, we're going to show you the answer here. Uh, this is from our friends over at clickorlando.com and Dark Redeemer. National Store apologizes for Star of David. Anti-vax badges! Oh! Oops. So what's closer? Would you say an anti-vax badge is closer to an 
action, action figure, figure or a, a toilet heroic seat, seat. Oh. or a toilet seat. For the record, science. Oh, I was, I was sorry. Some, usually people say something after for the record. Okay. Yeah. They usually say put on something an audio on podcast. <laughs> oh, no. Where I he's mean, not just menacingly just, gulping Gatorade <laughs> while bug eyeing his employee. <laughs> just, I'm just glad I have the belt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I got. I do have to feed this into into my machine here. Excuse me. This is some difficult calculus. I tell you. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not that difficult. There's only six points. Two points. Bing, 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 bing. All right. Here we go. Ah, oh, of course. Here we go. The winner. Of this round of Apologizes for with 11 points, Justin <laughs> Robert. Yes! yes! And it, Take it. And it's now. Take hold on. It. Uh, wall come. Hold on, guys. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. We want to make sure we plug your channel. Uh, 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 Walcom S7. No, no, come on here. Yeah, you got to come out here. Uh, 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 Welcome S7. What do you guys do there on your channel? Uh, we modify Nerf blasters so we can put foam darts through drywall. You know, teaching your kids all the good stuff. So there we go. If you want to learn how to super mod all of these uh, uh, Nerf guns, then please go ahead over there. If you want to see them in action, then you can see them <laughs> right now on the debut episode of Great Night. Use it as a I'll cup. get out of the way. You guys go. <laughs> use, use it as a cup. <laughs> Shoot him in the eyeball of his chest. <laughs> that thing is really going too. Yeah. Oh, look at the duck. Oh. 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 Oh, is it out? That's all she got. That's all she got. All That's right. A sorry, Bukaki. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wah. All right, I want to thank everybody who uh, 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 submitted links uh, in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. I also want to thank uh, Annalisa, who helped uh, put together some of this game. If you've got a game uh, that you think we should play, uh, I guess we did not send it to be a new, a new public email, but you could continue to send it for now to mail at <laughs> nightattack.tv. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being in part of this part of the show, Yay! which is what this was. Uh, I did like the part where he rang my bell, literally. <laughs> Uh, so traditionally, the third act, Justin, yeah. of our previous incarnations has always yeah. been kind of focused uh, on the community. our community. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we want to keep that spirit alive. But now we're coming up on 12 years of backstory. So we, uh, we're going to continue that spirit by uh, and in fact, we want to hear what you guys want most to revisit from the past, because imagine you brought a friend to a concert and they ain't never heard none of these songs before. What are some of the things that we should go back and explore but something simple for our very first episode of Great Night, we thought would be to go all the way back to the very beginning, which was originally, and maybe it should be again, an excuse for me to go pee and oh grab a beer yep. <laughs> while you kept the chat Not even an engaged. hour, one hour. Uh, so yeah, back in the day during BB Live Show, Brian would leave, take <laughs> a pee, <laughs> go get a beer, and I would play a little game called rapid fire if you've never been in the chat for rapid fire uh i uh will read a yes or no or, or either or a question and i will answer all of them as fast as i possibly can so uh if we want to go ahead and, and and cue that up i will go for as long as i can and i will answer any and all questions that i possibly can uh, uh right now here in the chat so here we go skills cat gold or diamonds diamonds uh, mayo or spicy mayo, go fuck yourself. France or Swiss, Swiss, because they actually had our show. WandaVision or Loki? I actually really prefer WandaVision. Loki, Loki. Uh, uh, you're, oh, really? You're, you're Come on. No, stop it. Transformers or GoBots? Transformers. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, cunts with an S or cunts with a Z? Uh, with cunts a Z. with a Z have the bigger eyes and they're <laughs> yeah. more ethnic. Uh, 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 what? Uh, anal or oral? Uh, yes. M. Bombacube, I'm glad you're watching the show. Oral. Uh, uh, California or Texas? Texas, baby. Uh, uh, toothpaste or glue? Toothpaste? Uh, although, I, I, yeah, I guess I've used toothpaste Wait, more sorry, than I what? have glue. Toothpaste or glue? I, I would say I would say toothpaste. 
uh, tacos or burritos? Uh, burritos. Bowling or golf? That's a good one. It's got to be bowling, right? Yeah, although I am from Florida, so golf is probably going to be uh, uh, eventually in my future. Uh, 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 smart or rich? Oh, rich. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Uh, Base titties or chest eyeballs? <laughs> Base titties. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ted Cruz or a kick in the nuts? A uh, 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 kick in the nuts. Night attack or great night? Uh, great night. Great night. Great night, baby. Australia or New Zealand? Well, really, that's California versus Texas. So I would go with Australia because now I like Texas. Yeah, you're in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you're uh, right. uh, sorry or not sorry? Not sorry. Uh, 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 old- tornadoes or earthquakes? Because uh, you moved tornado- to one. Yeah. Uh, earthquakes. Earthquakes. <laughs> earthquakes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Montreal or Tampa? Uh, Tampa. I don't like Montreal. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Oh. Hot takes. Well, look. All right. So so I grew up in South Florida where the, I, I don't know everybody in Montreal, <laughs> but I do know the motherfuckers that used to come down and, and be snowbirds down in South Florida. And as a waiter, let me just say there is no greater scourge that I could ever know than the French Canadians in South Florida. What do they sound like when they would order? I mean, I'm just curious. I've never encountered one. I really, I only have one story, which was, uh, and, I, and this wasn't even me as a waiter. It was me as a kid. Yeah. I'm at a Sizzler, and I'm at the, the salad bar of a Sizzler, and there's an old French-Canadian woman who, as I'm just trying to pick things off the salad bar, just looks at me with disgust, and then with a big sweeping hand gesture goes, get out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> Hated him ever since. We uh we we had a friend who was French Canadian who was raised French and then forgot how to speak French, but never lost his French accent. So now he only speaks English with a French Canadian accent. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, shoes or sandals? Uh, I think we're both. I don't know. I think we're both sandals people in general. Sizzler or Cracker Barrel? Yes. Sizzler. Uh, Sizzler. Uh, uh, Franklin's or Salt Lick? Oh, that's. Salt Lake, Franklin, Franklin's. Uh, I mean, except for, except for their their sauce is garbage. Oh, that's Salt Lake. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, that 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 I say. Uh, uh, Auntie Donna or ICS? Oh come on. The oh shit. Come that's on. The name what do you of the mean? Game is you have to pick one. One of them is mandated to be in the same place because of the Australian <laughs> lockdown. So one of them I'll pick is closer <laughs> to come punch me. <laughs> so I'm gonna say <laughs> ICS. Uh, uh, Ligma or Bofa? Uh, oh, Ligma. Uh, South by Southwest or Dragon Con? Oh. Well, only one of them denied me a fucking pass. Yeah, Ooh. the other one ran away like, uh, like apologizes <laughs> for. <laughs> Uh, uh, so Tex-Mex which? or Cal? Wait, wait, hold on, which? Tex-Mex. So which which one was it? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm currently <laughs> I'm currently speaking with uh, 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 people uh, with the one that I have done consecutively for damn okay. near 13 years. That for whatever reason now, while they're in their greatest need, and I was going to come out against my own medical judgment, uh, denied me a pass, which was not. Uh, <laughs> A happy time. All right, wrap it up. We got we got we got <laughs> ten seconds here. A uh, beard or mustache? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. how it works. Either or. <laughs> mustache. Uh, beard. <laughs> uh, 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 H-E-B or Kroger? <laughs> oh, H-E-B. H-E-B, H-E-B for the day. win. Are H-E-B you kidding me? Five Guys or Whataburger? Ooh, Whataburger. Whataburger. Yeah. Uh, five Guys. Five Guys. What, uh, Boba what? Fett or Boba T? Uh, Boba T. Betamax or DV or Divix? <laughs> Max. Mike TV or Mike TV? Mike, Mike TV! TV! That's all the time that we have! Uh, all right, Justin, uh, any parting words before we go in? Man, we really made a mess. Uh, uh, we're going to keep you on. You should see what it looks like show. over here. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, man, uh, we set out to do this podcast. We had one goal in mind for yeah. it to be the MVP minimum viable product and i'll be damned if we didn't pull that off thank you so much to mr brett weaver thank you so much to mr bryce castillo thank you so much to mr Corey cranfield thank you yeah. so much walk off s7 subscribe to them on youtube we heard it ring who <laughs> shot him in the nose of the crotch <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, no matter where you are, it's been a great night. We love you guys. Crazy Diamond.